Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today it's a matter of just going through um, some stuff, bits and bobs, blueprints, etc. And if you cast your mind back to not all that long ago, I think it was about 29 days, um, I installed said blueprints which have now been completed and ready to deliver. Now, it's a good few here. Now, as per the last video I did, I started doing some invention as I said. We've got a good number here that have uh, now come to fruition. So let's get these um, delivered. A decent amount done there and I've got some other bits that I need to get going now. So as I'm sure you're aware by now, I do like my blueprints. I do like getting them researched. So let's get these done. It's another 29 days. Um, I got it slightly wrong earlier. It was 31 days. Sorry, 21 days in order to get it to ME9. So we are just finishing these off on the MEs. I work it out, but it cost me about 30 to 40 million for installation costs um, in regards to uh, researching. So it's roughly in line with what I'd expect. Now I've been shopping, I've bought another 11 capital parts and 11 capital propulsion mods. So let's get them installed. So that's the last one installed for the uh, cap parts there that I want to be uh, researching. I've currently got 33 or so um, that I've currently bought and researching. I have had a lot more in the past, but at the moment, um, the capital parts aren't selling particularly well. At the moment, I've got a good number of capital BPOs sat around here. And as you can see here, we're at 28 billion at the moment and what, 24 parts now for whatever reason i seem to have more armor plates than i initially would have done i, I either do in batches of five or ten give or take or eleven just to round it off but for whatever reason i've got twelve so i'm not quite sure how that's happened um and normally again because capital bpos don't sell particularly quickly i often if i do capital bp for instance for what we just saw the uh, the capital proportion systems i've done them now and I won't do another batch basically until they're all sold. So when the capital proportion ones are complete, I will buy another batch of um, capital BPOs, but they will be different to the ones I've currently researched, which gives them 100 days basically to sell. And then if they've all sold, then I'll obviously buy some more. And if they haven't, I won't, and I'll move on to something else. Because obviously there's quite a few cap component uh, BPOs that I can cycle through. So... Even if they don't sell initially and take a bit of time, it's not the end of the world. And secondly, it's not that the cap BPOs don't necessarily sell, it's just that they're not selling for what I'm willing to sell them for. Now, as some of you are aware, I've had these um, capital drone BPOs for a good while now, and really I should have been doing more to get rid of them, but the price has been horrifically low. And you can see here, this, this guy is saying one for a billion isk. So let's have a quick calculation on the uh, the money that they're roughly going to make on that. So the NPC price for the Capital Drone Bay is 872. This guy is selling it for 998. So let's take 998 away, which leaves us 125 million isk um, for basically the price that it's cost him to uh, research it to ME10 and TE20. Now straight off the bat you've got tax there that you're going to have to pay when you sell these um, on contract so that makes it down to 110 and then it's, uh, we'll assume there's some installation cost and I'll be incredibly fair here and say it's 5 million to ME, uh, yeah, ME10 and TE20 so we'll say 10 million so that gives us 100 million total and assuming they're doing it obviously at a decent research station, they could be doing it at zero zero, etc. We'll, we'll still take the Tamil one because again it's it's pretty good and it's a hundred days. So divided by a hundred days, so they're making a million isk per day on this. And if we divide that by the twenty-four hours, that's forty-one thousand six hundred and sixty-six thousand isk per hour, which is pretty bad when all said and done. However, You've got to look at this in other ways, although for an hourly income, obviously 41,666 ISK is pretty bad. I currently have 33 in um, production or research at the moment. So if we were to times that by 33, 1.3 million ISK per hour I'm making times the 24 equals 33 million a day and times the 100 
So I'd be making 3.3 billion isk if I was to sell them at that price. So for the 33 BPOs that I've got, if I was to sell them um, research state and I was asking for 120 million isk for that research, I'd come out, as I say, with roughly 3.3 billion isk. So for doing pretty much nothing other than transport, the, the cost of transporting them around, all the risk, 3.3 uh, billion isk for pretty much doing nothing isn't all that bad. Generally, so say I don't like to sell them for that low. I want to be ranging for about seventy-five thousand isk per hour. So times thirty-three times your twenty-four hours times your hundred days. I'm looking for about six billion isk um, over the course. And obviously, if I can sell some at the time for more, then great stuff. But generally, I, I try not to go below that level. That's the minimum I'm, I'm generally willing to work for. Now. Obviously, that does mean that sometimes I do end up holding BPOs longer than I would potentially like, but that is the risk that I'm willing to take. And at the end of the day, it's not really much of a risk because the BPOs generally hold the... It's very rare that you can find a BPO, especially a capital BPO, for under its MPC price. So any kind of... Re worst case scenario, I can sell these on the market for exactly what I paid for them, um, plus the research cost, and end up losing nothing other than time and basically ISK being tied up in them. So as part of the EVE Partner Program, I have 20 of these Rupture Skins which have just come in. So I'm going to be giving away five in this video um, as I've been notoriously bad for getting rid of them. So five for this video. Um, all I want from you is your in-game username, whether that be a, to an alt or whether it's your main. I'm not fussed. It makes no difference on whether, you know, what your character is, whether you win it or not. Um, I want you to basically put whether you like the skin or dislike it or whichever is your favorite and the last word in the sentence that you type needs to have a capital letter to start and that is to stop people from gaming the system draw this at 10 p.m on the 6th of march so you don't have a great deal of time get your comment in um, but again in-game username last word capital letter and if you haven't already subbed, then please think about it so you don't miss out on these wonderful skins in the future. So one of the questions I often get asked is, do I bother? Um, is it worth doing copies? And it's an interesting question, this. Uh, personally, I don't like copies a great deal, just to put it straight there. But let's have a look at the numbers, shall we? So obviously, we've got this capital BPO. It's um, fully researched. And if you are doing copies for BPOs, especially capitals, uh, components then they do need to be 1020 so we are at the perimeters no we're doing it at jitter let's not do it at jitter let's get us over to perimeter uh tranquility research and i'm going to use this because again the job duration is pretty decent and the cost is semi reasonable um so takes us six hours we're going to round it down to six hours just to make it easy so 6 12 18 24 so we can get four copies or four five run copies in a day so let's have a quick check to see what they are selling at so saying at that price you're looking at roughly what 2.5 million isk per day from copying so let's just just have a look at that so uh two five million divided by the 24 hours you're coming out at 104,000 isk per hour which is obviously quite a considerable amount more than what I'm doing with the uh, the research okay then considerable amount um, difference may be pushing it but obviously it is an increase by 25 to 30 30 K depending on how you look at it so why do I not do more copies if we were to take that by the amount of character slots that you have on one character uh, so da, 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 times 11 that per hour times 24 so we're making 27 million isk an hour just off the one character so let's look at it another way the blueprint is give or take uh, 1.2 billion isk and we're making 2.5 million isk a day we're looking at a 480 day return on investment so again not, not bad really when you look at it, it will take you what, a year and a half to uh, recoup this cash, do that on 11 characters and basically you are making 11, what, making 12, 13 billion isk a year just by doing some research, uh, doing some copies and then sell them on the market. And a lot of people make decent is this way. It trickles in and it's not overly arduous. The thing that starts to become a problem, unlike market orders, 21 per day per character is 
very limiting and it makes selling them quite awkward unless you're the very lowest or trying to keep the lowest which basically means you have to take them off the market you have to put them back on setting up a contract isn't a great deal of fun and because you can only have so many contracts it makes it a right pain and trying to expand this as a business becomes problematic because obviously you, you, you're pulling off four a day and we'll assume that you can sell four a day you know so you're selling everything that you're producing well you can only have 21 contracts 21 divided by four so you can only have a maximum of five bpos that are making you your copies per day that unless you are constantly watching you're going to struggle to obviously get them on again and again and again to sell and assuming that you're always the lowest price and these are selling every single day all of them now obviously you can make additional characters but then this starts to become quite time consuming as well you're swapping over you're having to trade with other characters you're you're doing all bits and bobs and before you know it it's it's taking a lot of time and it's an awful lot of hassle as well you know because again you're having to log characters in to see if the bpos pvp bpcs have sold and yeah by the time you don't you're better off just doing something else you're better off probably running abyssals you'll probably find that you're making more an hour running abyssals than you are obviously selling these as individuals now you can obviously pack them up and sell them in um, bundles which is quite common for capital ships so if we look down here, I'm pretty sure we'll find one. So this guy is selling them in batches. Let's see how successful he is at selling them, or she is. Oh, good number, actually. So you could sell them in batches. You can do it that way and get around it. Or, as I said, you can do it as a, a bundle for actually building a capital ship. Now, this kind of works, but as you can see, there's a lot of people doing it. Orca packs um Naglfar, etc so you can obviously if you've got all of the bpos to make said ship then you can do it in a bundle which obviously can get around that a little easier let's have a look see how successful this person is at doing that so phoenix phoenix revelation phoenix da, 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 da. so that could possibly be the way to go do it as a pack but obviously if you want to do it as a pack then you have to have all the bpos in order to pull the copies off and obviously that isn't cheap to get going so let's do a little experiment here let's add the number of runs together we can calculate roughly how long that is going to take us and then we can work out the profit per hour now i'm not going to include the naggle far bpo or bpc on that because i'm not 100 percent sure how long that one takes to copy so we know from doing it earlier that we can make or do roughly uh, we'll say 18 runs in 24 hours so if we divide that by 18 we will need nine slots in order to be able to do that running 24 7 that makes us 47 million isk in a day that's pretty decent for one character so 47 let's do it the other way that's like, so that's 1.4 billion isk so by that you are obviously better off putting it into a pack and doing it like that um, for people to buy that works out at a much better hourly rate so what was it uh 47 million let's have a look per hour divided by the 24 so making 1.9 million isk per hour doing it that way so actually that's pretty decent i've uh, i've never looked at that before so that's a uh, quite eye-opening that's assuming i've got all the calculations there spot on but uh, it pretty much works out um, so yeah so I'm in a, a, a pack obviously works out uh, a great deal better and that's generally because people are not necessarily lazy but again if you just want to build yourself an angle far and you can't be overly bothered to work out how many runs and this that, and the other you need someone else has done all the hard work worked it out and given you the exact amount of runs that you need in order to build the ship then you know for, for what it's going to cost you for the 47 million for a three billion -esque ship then you know <laughs> who's going to quibble over a couple of million so i think the conclusion of that is if you're selling the bpcs as individuals it's quite laborious time consuming and not a great deal of fun however if you can take the time to put it into a pack uh then obviously yeah you can make quite a lot of isk and you have quite a lot of slots as well so let's just go back for this guy see uh how many contracts currently have open at the moment? Gotta love this game. This is why I love it. There's always something new to find, something that you've never done before, and just different ways of approaching things. And and yeah, this is a this is no exception. So I hope that was interesting. It's uh, given me a few things to think about, that's for sure, which I didn't expect at the start of this video. So 
from saying, but you know, I don't like BPCs a great deal. I may found an opportunity here that I can now start pumping resources and a bit of energy towards to try and increase the amount of this that I'm making instead of just selling the BPOs straight to the market. But again, you know, selling the BPOs is currently what I do, but as I've got quite a lot stacking up at the moment, printing off some copies isn't going to be, um, is pretty much a decent idea, so I'm probably going to go on with that. So I think with that we'll wrap this video up there. It has dragged on for 17 minutes, which is pretty much seven to six minutes more than I actually initially intended. So my apologies, but thanks for sticking around. Get your comment in for the skin. If you haven't subscribed, then please do. And thank you for your time and I'll speak to you again soon.